What's happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, bringing you another fun-filled Let's Play adventure. This time around, we're jumping into Dynasty Warriors 8. So, I played through some of the game, and I was trying to think what would be fun for, like, a Let's Play for this. And, I mean, yeah, given the story's interesting, watching me just bash away at enemies forever probably wouldn't be that entertaining. Although, I'm sure I could make it entertaining with some intricate dialogue. But, uh, decided we're going to be doing Ambition Mode, because it's fun, it's fresh. I haven't even played it yet. I, like, started it and was like, I get a city, and that's about all I learned. So, um, we're going to be doing Ambition, pulling out, uh, pulling out our boy Lubu, because he's a straight baller. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get to it. Let's find out what this Ambition Mode is all about. Near the end of the Eastern Hind Dynasty, the land was in chaos, and the age was thrust into confusion. Using this as an opportunity... Damn, I can't even read it. It's too fast for me. I was trying to use my, like, serious Asian guy voice. Alright, so Emperor's wandering the land. Small kingdom, that's probably me. Oh, but I'm much too poor. Hmm. Then just maybe, Emperor would decide to stay at our land. Not be as easy as it seems. Man, my city is shitty. All right, let's uh, what the hell. Oh, okay, so that's the city, and I guess this is like my base camp. Is there anybody over here? No, there's just a... Uh, I thought that was like a pit of despair, but I guess it's like a hot springs, maybe? I don't know. Let's go this way. Peasants, guards, and blacksmith. Alright, peasant. Well, that's really go fucking blow him and make him feel better. Land without war. Lubu's not a fan of that. Um, what type of weapon are you looking for? Okay. Ah, oh, all right. Can I can I get a weapon? Yes. And, okay, awesome. So, one of the good thing is I do get to keep my weapons that I've earned from campaign so far. Or, maybe not. Why are all my halberds shit? Where's my good halberds at? This is owned 11, and it's showing me, like, nothing. Uh, you know what? I guess I, like, have to start at, like, level 1, like a little bitch, since I'm in, uh, this mode. Damn, I gotta start with bitch weapons. But at least we got 99999 gold! If you're wondering why I have so much gold, because I know somebody's probably going to be like, Hack, that was Hacks. Hacks got the gold. Um, no, Hacks didn't get the gold. What you can do is, as you play through the game, obviously you have a shit ton of weapons. So, with like the eight weapons here, I would just go sell, 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 sell. And, uh, I mean, I've only finished Wei and Jin. And out of those two campaigns, I've made enough to max out. I mean, you can let's see. We can let's see, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Look at that. We're maxed again. Either way, though, we're gonna let's talk to this guard. Find out what we need. Get ambition mode underway. Unending, unending battles. Jesus. You will be able to participate according to the guard. Alright, well, I kind of want to just start on Chaos, 
But there's a good chance I'll get my ass ripped open. So let's do it. And we'll see what happens. Because, I mean, ballers play on chaos. And this reminds me so much of Dynasty Warriors Empires, which is, like, the best game ever. Um, Lu Yang, Xin Yang, Wu Zhang Plains, or Royal Turban. Uh, Yellow Turbans kind of suck. Wu Zhang Plains is always... It's anything but a small-scale battle. Let's go to, to Wu Zhang Plains anyway. Do I have to keep my my all three of my uh, Musao abilities? Defeat Zhang Jiao. Okay. Um, what like weapons do I have on? No. What the fuck? I do not want wire gloves. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Return to camp. What is this shit? I didn't even get to pick my fucking weapons. I'm not going into battle with fucking steel thread gloves and a rake. Fuck that shit. I guess maybe I have to like equip my guy in the camp? I don't know. Okay, yeah, here we go. Halberd. Okay, I can put on my baller halberds. This one has damage by consecutive attacks, rage gauge, and fire. That sounds pretty good. Let's see what the other one is, though. This one is poor stuff. Musao Gauge, Stun. Don't really need Swiftness. This one's Inferno, Barricade, and all. I don't know. I don't want my attack decreased. Uh, da, 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 da. I think we're going to stick with the Inferno Halberd. And then for Weapon 2, let's see. Bow. What is Bow and Rod? Oh yeah, bow and rod. That's the one I want. I mean, Lubu was a master with the bow, right? Jolt, explosive. No, do not discard that weapon. Uh, lightning, when I take damage. Shockwave, lower your health, more attack. And rage gauge recovers. Jolt, chain, induction, triumph. Well, time the chains can be linked together. Lightning may strike. Kind of like that one. Uh, let's see what this one Roar, Morass, Jolt, and Jubilation. Hmm. We'll do this one. Oh, nope, same affinity. Fuck. Alright. I guess we're gonna do... I don't really need survival. Isn't this that, like... Well, I guess that's better than nothing, because I can't use man, so it's either that one, or we could use our Earth Bow. War, Morass, Jolt, and Jubilation. I got Jolt on both. Hmm. Actually, I feel like that might be worth it, just because the whole, like, recover health when you defeat an enemy could be pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think we will go with that. Alright. Skills. We are going to need health boost and attack boost for sure. Especially if we're going into... Chaos. Um, I like victory. Definitely want mighty roar. Um, accuracy might be worth getting. I mean, I already got pretty baller items. So let's go for accuracy. Critical hits are always good. And animals, I get mahogany. Just my regular outfits. Okay. Camp management. No materials. No supervisors. No allies. Bonds? Bonds with males. Ooh. Alright. Now that we have fucking proper weapons on, let's try this again. Chaos. Oh, here we go. I was about to say, I was like, where did all the 1.1s go? So like I said, there's a good chance I might just get immediately smashed the second I step out. It is on Chaos, but I do have some good weapons, so we'll see what happens. There is in this land that can stop Bitches, get out of my way. I'm fucking Lou Boo. You don't stop me. 
I smash your shit. Oh, wow. These guys are... A lot more aggressive. Come on. Even though they're like, they're like not even like named, they're just unit commanders. And they're fucking crazy strong. And I absolutely love that EX attack. The whole like pick them up and smash their face into the ground. Bitch! Like, boom! Like, only Lu Bu is baller enough to grab somebody by the face and be like, I'm tired of your shit. And just smash! Bitch, did I mention I'm a master at archery? Come on, what you got? I feel like my health isn't... Oh, that's right, it recovers with, with enemies getting defeated. Alright, I went up a... I went up a pinch. Oh yeah, and that's Lubu's the switch. When you when you switch to his halberd, in case you weren't aware, you get just like a instant fucking pimp mode speed buff. Which also affects my attack speed. So yeah, pretty pretty baller. Alright, enough baddies for me to actually utilize this bow. You wish to fight me? Oh my god! Ho ho ho! Yeah, chaos mode. That's what it's all about. Well guys, it was fun. But I don't think we're going to be able to do chaos just yet. <laughs> I like how it's like I'm not really like losing anything for fucking up either. The game's just like, listen, you're playing on chaos. Try knocking it down a notch. Hard I can probably handle. Because, I mean, I'm level 25. Pretty beefed up. But, uh, yeah. Chaos is one of those things where you just need to be... You pretty much just need to be, like, god mode. You don't go into chaos half-cocked. Which no I tried to do, to considering I have a extensive Dynasty Warriors experience. And chaos mode showed me that it don't fuck around. Bitch. This area is all mine. Oh, I got material. Now, if I can get down there in time, while well, I still got this double damage up, I might be able to just run in and wreck some shit. I mean, we are down to hard, so it's not like I'm really that worried about the shit I'm fighting. Yeah, definite difference in what I'm able to do. Ooh, fuck yeah, I got a tiger. Can I ride it? I want to ride a tiger. I want red hair. Where's red hair at? Red hair just, like, belongs with Lu Boo. Stop blocking, you dick! Get fucked up, bro. Stand up. Bitch, knock you back down. Flashpoint. Alright, Zhang Bao. You're going down. Mobile Captain, get shit on. Damn, that almost one-shot him. See, that's crazy. Just going from, from chaos down to hard. And it's like an insane difference in the difficulty. It's like a 
just massive slash of ass kickery. Yeah, down you go, Zhang Bao. What? All I gotta do is beat him, and now he's like my bitch. He's like, oh, Lu Bu, you're so good. Please, I can rub your back and clean your horse and suck your dick. I mean, I didn't say that one. I'll just, just please let me do anything. New ally. You're victorious. Yeah, gold and experience. Well, gold we certainly don't need. Experience is very much so welcome. Uh, you're able to obtain. Uh, were you able? Yes, of course. Battle of Scream. Facility materials, weapon materials. Battles where you can obtain these are going to skirmishes. Now that you obtain some, return to camp. Want to get a bodyguard in this too? Hell yeah. I'm going to make it a sexy ass bitch with big titties. Facility construction. Zhang Bao is now a playable character. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So I can like switch between my characters in this too. The following facility has been constructed. The tea house. Okay, new facilities to appear. Camp has been developed. Oh my god. Mission mode alternates between the camp and the battlefield. Now try to use the facility materials on a facility. Press start. Go to the info screen. Camp management. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, camp management, materials, blacksmith, let's give him one for now, able to reforge when a certain rank is reached. It's difficult to complete the time slowly from the assistance of facilities, okay, so I need allies, yeah, there you go. Let's increase that up. Alright, gotta go talk to the blacksmith. Let's go check out this tea house real quick. What's up, tea house? You can eat food that increase your abilities in battle. There will be three effects chosen at random. What? That's awesome. Blacksmith, tea house, barracks, and merchant. Ooh, attack, defense, health. Wait, it's the same shit. Well, I want some dim sum. Whatever. That's, I'm down with that. What's up, Zhang Bao? Cool. You will help me out. That's good to know. Um... Don't care about you peasants. Where's the guard at? Guard's supposed to tell me more stuff. Okay. About to enable to obtain allies. On the next screen, select the difficulty level in battlefield. Once you're in battle, press start to confirm it. Alright. Uh, standard battle I, Chen Z. Very reports that Sun Shao, Li Fang, Wang Su. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is a 1.3. Battle at a disadvantage. I'll take a disadvantage. Lubu, don't fuck around. Actually, I should have set that dude as my bodyguard, brought him along. Damn, yeah, I'd say we're at a fucking disadvantage. But this is just the kind of fight Lu Bu loves to get himself in. Step forward, bitch, I'm already on top of you. Ruining your shit. Uh-oh, I switched weapons. What's up now? You're not good against this weapon. Ow, who the fuck are you? 
Ah! No! Oh my god. Why are you so mean to me? Yeah, bitch. God. I don't know if I want you to study under me after that shit you just pulled. There we go. Now we're actually getting something done with this jubilation. I'll get to you in a second. Oh! Storm Rush! Get fucking smashed! Oh man! Just gonna storm rush you bitches all day! I don't know what they dropped. Weapon that I don't really need. Weapon. Moose out. I'm already at full. Alright, disadvantage overcome. Let's get rid of this mobile unit captain so he isn't all molesting my troops. Blue Boo don't play that shit. Okay. So Chao, Lang Si, Si Khan, Li Fu, Lang Ziang. Alright, well, looks like everybody is uh, over that way. Just waiting for me to beat the shit out of them. Let us ride. Gatekeeper? Bitch, you can't stop me. I'm Lu Boo. Look at that. He did nothing. Don't fuck with Lu Boo. Oh, really? I was about to say, I was like, what? There's usually always stuff in chests. I like how the other guards just straight scatter. They're like, yeah, fuck this. I don't think we're going to bother with this shit. But I'm curious now. I wonder if there's a box in each one of these areas that I can, uh, I can hit and get goodies. Yes, there is. Awesome. So then there's still, I guess there's one, two, three additional areas I can go to grab materials then. So we're going to run to the two little bases that are south. We'll hit that one that's like northeast. And then we'll go take care of these baddies. Got to get those materials. Poor gatekeeper. Dude's just like, all I was doing was watching the gate. Why did you have to smash me? Bitch, I don't even get off my horse to beat you. Lubu is just that much of a baller. This area is all mine. All mine. No one else's. I get all the cookies and candies. I don't share at all. I'm Lubu. Lubu doesn't like to share. Lubu says all this stuff is mine. Bitches, my halberd lights people on fire. You can't compare with that. Who just shot me with an arrow? Somebody in this base has a death wish. What the hell? Is there another... Like, if it doesn't open if I kill you? Bitches? Actually, we're going to try and see if we can heal up using our bow until we make it up to uh, a group of baddies up there. Oh, 
Look at all these guys. What? How? Wreck you guys all day. Like how this is just like a never ending circle jerk battle over here. Alright, we gotta speed up, got a decent little chunk of health back. Let's run over and hit this less camp. This area is all mine. Come on, get it. There we go. All right. Now we got all those materials. If my horse ever catches up. Actually, yeah, we're going to switch into our halberd as soon as we get up there. Then we'll ruin everyone's shit. Oh no! Wasted a moose owl. Super speed horse! What are you doing? Oh, you're blocking the entrance. You need to die. Yeah, were you? Because I was looking for an opportunity to beat your ass. I don't know if I really want you to join me. You seem like you're not that good. Oh boy, look at them all. Pile on in, boys and girls. Armageddon smash! Get fucked up! <laughs> Bitch, you do not do that. Stand up, shitty mobile captain. No, Liu Kang. Oh, damn it, I must have hit a peon instead of him. This one won't miss. Get fucking smashed. Ha, Liu Bu is such a fucking boss. And we got Leaf Fu up next. Yo, bro. Looks like I'm in your base. Looks like I'm gonna grab. Oh, I grabbed the one dude that was just like barely in front of him. Little PL was like, No, Leaf Fu! I sacrificed myself to save you! Like, it doesn't matter, bro. Leaf Fu will die. Yeah, would you? I think everyone would like to join me. Oh shit, son! Fury mode! You got no chance. You got no chance. We're just gonna come from behind. Oh, hitting that backside. Rampage. Right. Damn! Look at all those fucking new allies. Sweet baby Jesus! Look at them all. It's insane. It's one, two, three, four, five by ten, four, sixteen. So that's twenty-six new allies. That's that's dirty. Were you able to obtain any allies? Yeah, I think so. 
Battles in which you obtain allies. Right, hang on. Any officers displayed in the previous screen on join your cars. Battles in which you obtain allies in this way are known as great battles. Now let's head back to camp. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head back to camp, considering I have like a fucking army at my disposal now. Nine percent allies completion. New allies have come to the camp. If your ally is a famous officer, then you can place them in charge or take them into battle. That's right. Okay. You now have a good grasp of allies and facilities. You need to build the torque and tie. That is fame. By gaining fame, it'll take shape as a building. Learn about obtaining fame. Go and speak to the guard. All right, guard. Tell us about fame. The battle you are heading for will enable you to obtain fame. So you obtain fame by simply winning a battle, you obtain even more if you complete missions. Focuses on rescuing people. Ugh. Focuses on defense. Escorting people. Escorting people. Ugh, what boring missions. Either way, we're gonna take on those missions at a later time. Um, let's see. Select bodyguard. Zhang Bao. Assistance healing? Hell yeah! He just follows me around and heals me? That's awesome. Um, yeah, I want a fucking tiger. Type writing, type companion, speed, power. Fuck yeah. Lubu wants a tiger and a healing bitch. And I think we're gonna drop critical hit for bonus XP. That's good still. Oops, do some quick camp management here. Use up some materials. Yeah, let's uh pimp out the blacksmith. Maybe he'll make me some sweet weapons. And I can assign a supervisor. Zhang Bao. Mm. I don't know if I trust Shu with the blacksmith. I mean, they didn't do too well in the actual Battle of the Three Kingdoms. Maybe I could trust him with, like, the tea house. Yeah, we can trust you with the tea house. And are you still my bodyguard? Can you like be my bodyguard? Yes, yeah, you can be my bodyguard and watch the tea house. Awesome. What's up, Lian Zing? Um, dude, I would destroy you. Aw. Look at him. He's all like, please eat. Eat at the tea house. Awesome. Well, we got a boost to go into our next battle with. We got a bodyguard now. That's also a healing bitch. And we got a tiger. So, for now, we're going to cut it off. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of our Ambition Mode Let's Play. But, as always with all of my games, there's plenty more to come. I mean, I'm not really interested in playing Zhang Bao, but I know once I unlock some other people, I'll be switching it up. I'm not just going to dick ride Lu Bu for like 30 episodes. Even though he is, like, the most baller warrior in all of history. Either way, go guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first episode. And I hope you watch the rest to come in the series.